Welcome to the homework for lesson 15. This is module 4 of grade 1. Get your name down here first. We're just solving some problems. Here are the pictures. We're talking about five groups here. So that's five, and you can see this looks like one less. It's four, so five plus four. Nine, and you can count them all to see that it's nine. But the idea is we're going to use that for the next one. You see how this is 9. It's a 5 group and a 4 group. But well, we have this 5 group and a 4 group right here. That's 9. And we have 10 here. So it's 10 and 9. 19. Right? If you know that teen trick, of just it makes it really easy to add numbers to 10. This is, it says 15 plus 4, which is, if you look at this way, I'll use green here, this is the 15, and that's the 4. But it's easier to count if you think about that 9, and then add it to a 10. So just the way you look at the picture is kind of the idea here, that we've got this 5 plus 4, and here you can see it. There's that 5 plus 4. This is 19, because it's 10 more. Right, and here's this 5 plus 4 again. So this is really, think of adding the, the single ones together first, and then adding that to the tens. And it's an easier way to, to add. So here we have 25 plus 4. And looking at it, I see this is the same 9. So it's two tens, which is 20, plus 9 more, 29. And now we have another 10. So now we have three tens to add to our 9. So it's 39. And now we're going to do the same thing with 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 is a little bit different because it adds up to more than 9. It adds up to more than 10. And what we want to do is make a 10. So you can see this 8. this is missing two apples right here. So the way you look at the picture is think, well, what if these two apples were over here? Then that would be a 10. And you might remember this from before, making 10 to add, that's what we would be taking this for. That's the two we move over to join the eight, and then the two that are left behind, right? That's these two here. That would be that two there. And these two that we move over is that two right there. So just a way to think about looking at the pictures and relating it to making 10 to add. So we have 10, right? Here's our 10 and two more, 12. So we're going to do the same thing again. We know that this adds up to 12. And we've got, now we just have 10 more. Now if you look at the numbers, it says 18 plus 4. And we're thinking of this 18 plus this 4 more. When we look at the numbers. But when we look at the picture, we're thinking 12 plus 10 more. Well, that's just another 10 for 22. And same thing here. Now we have two more 10s. So we still have 12. So it's 12 plus two more 10s. So now instead of one 10, we have three 10s. Right? Because this is... A 10, 32. The first number sentence in each set to help you solve the other problems. So we're doing the same thing here again, except we just don't have the pictures to help us look at them. But we're going to think about the numbers the same way we did when we looked at the pictures, or try to. So I'm just going to underline this. There's the 5 plus 2, and you're going to see in this box here, There's these are all, when you look at the 1s, there's there's all 5 plus 2s there. And we're just going to add 10s to them. One, one more 10, two more 10, three more 10s. 5 plus 2, 7. Right? And so here's 15 plus 2. Well, that's the same as 5 plus 2 with just one more 10, so that's 17. And here's 5 plus 2, again, with just with two more 10s, so it's 
27. And here's 5 plus 2 again with 3 more 10, so it's 37. And over here on 9, we have the 5 plus 5, which is everybody's favorite because it add, makes an easy 10. So we're going to have 10s to add to 10s is going to be the easiest thing. So 5 plus 5, 10. And then we're going to add, take the same 5, now it's 15 plus 5. But we're looking at, we see that same 5 plus 5, and there's just one more 10 to add to it, so it's 20. And now we're going to add two more 10s to that 10, so now it's 10, 20, 30. And now we're going to add three more 10s to this 5 plus 5, which is 10, 20, 30, 40. And you you should be noticing this pattern right now that's happening. See how it's going. Adding one more 10. Adding one more 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, going down. It won't always be that way for that pattern, so we still need to pay attention to the numbers we're, we're, uh, we're adding. This is, uh, now we're looking at 2 plus 7. Well, that's 9. We can see this 2 plus 7 here and here also. So that's 9 plus this one more 10, 19. And now it's the 9 plus 2 more 10s, 29. And now we're looking at 7 plus 4. That's 11. So it's going to be a little bit trickier here because we're going to have to keep this, remember this 1, and we're going to add one more 10. So that's 11 plus a 10, which is one more 10, 21. And then here's an 11 again, that's 7 plus 4, plus 2 more 10s, 31. Right, you think about a place value chart for 11, right, 10s and 1s. And you're adding more tens, so you're adding to that digit. So here I've got two more tens to add, so one plus two makes it three. That's how I get the 31. And that's just kind of like the process, the mental process for how you do it. So we've got eight plus seven, which is 15. And now we're doing it again and again and again. So this is 15 plus one more 10, 25. 15 plus 2 more 10s, 35. 3 plus 9 is 12, and you're going to see it here and there also. You don't have to underline these, these the way I am, but I just, I'm just doing it to show you to make sure that you see the, see the idea of adding the 1s first and then adding the 10s to what you get. So that's 12, and now I'm going to add another 10, 22. And then another 10, 32, adding it to the 12 each time because we see that 3 plus 9, we know that's 12. And finally, solve the problems. Show the one-digit addition sentence that helped you solve. So the one-digit addition sentence is going to be the 4 plus 5 here. So it's 4 plus 5 equals 9 and add that 9 to the two more 10s, 29. And here you're looking at the single digits of 4 plus 7, which is 11, and it's 11 plus two more 10s, 31.